Hey everybody, today we're gonna make a sugar cream pie. Good old Indiana classic. For this pie, we're going to need one nine inch pie crust. This is a store bought one. The recipe calls for you to make your own and then do a pre-bake on it and all that kind of stuff. So you'll have to look up your directions for that. I'm using a store bought pie crust and followed the pre-bake instructions off the package. So that's what you got there. Uh, you also need a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of cornstarch, two cups of heavy whipping cream, and half a cup of butter cubed, a tablespoon of vanilla, and some cinnamon for sprinkling on the top at the at the end before you put it in and bake it. So I've done the pre-bake already. I'm up to the point now where while this is cooling I need to whisk together. Here's I already got the cornstarch, the sugar, uh, brown sugar and regular sugar mixed together there. I have somehow managed to already get it all over the stove. Cornstarch gets everywhere. And now, while I'm doing all this, I stir in the half and half while bringing it to a boil. I am not left-handed. <laughs> This recipe does not call for an egg like a lot of them do, or eggs. Once I get this to a boil, it's just to simmer it for two minutes. I guess this is the point where I full disclosure, this is not my recipe. I found it somewhere. I don't know where. And uh, I've never made it before. So also the point where <laughs> if it turns out disastrous you'll never see this video all right now we gotta wait for that to boil this will probably be the point where I will uh, I will go ahead and stop the video and start it back up when it, when it boils all right I brought this just to a barely where it was boiling. I had to keep stirring it quite a bit because it wanted to glom up a little bit. Um, as soon as it started boiling, I reduced the heat to real low and simmered it for about another two minutes. And now it's finished. I just I turned the heat off a little while ago there. As you can see, it is really thickened up. And this is the point where I'm supposed to add the tablespoon of vanilla and I'm supposed to start stirring in the cubed up butter until it melts. I'm going to start with half there get it working in Now some of these pie recipes tell you to put the butter in the bottom of the pan and pour the stuff in on top of it. This one's saying to stir it in here. And to be honest with you, the directions did not say 
whether just throw them in or it says to stir them in so I'm going to stir them in until they melt and that is the end of the butter oh boy I almost splattered that on my knuckle that would have been bad I will probably edit some of this out. Maybe not. This butter is really hanging off for dear life in here. And this stuff is really thickened up. Look how thick that is. It's almost like caramel sauce. Pretty much is a caramel sauce it now, isn't it? All right. I think I don't see any chunks of butter floating around anymore. Try to get as much of that off of there as I can. All right. Put my pie pan back over here that I pre baked earlier. Pour this in. Wow, that came right out of there nicely. Put that in the sink. A little shake. Well, that's how it came out, so I'm not going to smooth it out. And it said to put some uh, cinnamon on top here. My cinnamon seems to be clumped. Oh, there it is. That's a lot in one spot. Oh well. Now, I am supposed to bake this for 20 minutes. At 375, I think I forgot to say that earlier. That's probably a pretty important part. 375 degrees, which on this pie crust was at 400, so I had to bake the oven, uh, back the oven back down. So, put that in the oven, and I will see you back in 20 minutes. We're back after 20 minutes of baking, and I have to tell you. That was a good smell in 20 minutes. Nothing smells better than brown sugar and cinnamon in the oven there. It also gave the dog 20 minutes to uh, mop the floor for me. She's still back there mopping the floor. So let's see what this looks like. I already took a peek. I can't really tell. It didn't do what the other sugar cream pie. Yes, I do have a recipe for another sugar cream pie on the... Uh, online here I'll try to link to it uh, that one jiggled when you took it out this one jiggles pretty good too now another thing sugar cream pies are not pies you bake and eat now this has to come out and cool completely and then you got to put it in the refrigerator for this one says an hour I'd leave it in longer um, it's pretty dense it'll take a while for that center to get cool but uh, yeah you gotta eat them cold, you gotta keep them refrigerated. This one did not do what the other sugar cream pie I do, I make is a, it raises up when you bake it. I mean, it really towers up and it bubbles like, it looks like a, looks like a volcano bubbling in there. This one didn't do any of that. But uh, let me get this transferred over to the wire rack there. I will, uh, I will come back after it is cooled and been refrigerated for an hour or two or three and uh, we'll cut into this thing and hopefully it's solid in the middle and just doesn't run out all over the place. <laughs> we'll see you in about three. Okay, it's been about three hours. It has set up pretty good. I'm hoping it's set up pretty good. Seems to have set up pretty good. Hmm. 
Well, let's give her a cut and see how it looks. Yeah, that's set up. <laughs> Oh, get a piece of crust. All right, let's go. That way. I'll do one more cut. All right. I'll take the piece I broke the crust off of here. So what we look like here. Oh yeah. Look at that. That set up perfectly. Lighting is horrible in my house, isn't it? Mmm. Alright. Now for the taste test. Like I said, this is a new recipe. I've never tried this one before. <laughs> mm, that's good. It could be a little colder. Boy, you can really taste that vanilla in there. Most times you only put like a quarter teaspoon of it. That full tablespoon really makes that vanilla jump out. Wow. Like I said, this was a new recipe. I do have another recipe. I will try to remember to link it. And it was a very simple sugar cream pie. I mean, it pretty much was flour, sugar, cream, mix it, bake it. Total different than this. So, yeah, I'd recommend this one. This one's pretty good. If you've tried this, like it, give it a thumbs up. Dog is sneaking in back here trying to... Doing. she's trying to get her nose in here and get her share of a uh, of it but wow well, this is good thumbs up like I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe but you can if you want my videos are random <laughs>